and welcome to AF Math and Engineering. If you're enjoying our channel, hit the subscribe button and the like button down below because we're always releasing new content. Enjoy! Hey everyone, welcome back. Fred here from AF Math and Engineering. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at uh, CSI Safe 2016 and we're going to talk a little bit about deflections. What we're going to look at specifically in this video is just linear immediate deflections. We're not going to go into crack deflections, long-term deflections. We're going to do another two videos based on that. The point of this is just to give you a very base familiarity with how to start to calculate deflections. Linear deflections in reinforced concrete don't really have a lot of application. Almost all deflections should be calculated using cracked analysis and, you know, long-term cracked analysis and stuff like that. Um, you know, in other things like steel, obviously, linear deflections are important. More important, wood, that kind of thing. But um, in reinforced concrete, this doesn't have a ton of use. But the point of this is just to show you kind of how to start to set up deflections. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So let's just treat this video as a precursor to the cracked deflection videos, which are a little more complicated coming up. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get started. We're gonna just model a really quick slab. Um, we're just gonna apply some loads to it and we'll show you you know, how to define your loads and stuff like that, your load patterns, your load cases. Um, just to note as well that I'm not gonna go through how to define you know, slabs and materials and stuff. We've already done that in other videos. So. Go back in those, uh, take a look in the description. I'm gonna post some video links there for that. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Let's make a really simple slab. You know, let's make it kind of like, you know, five and a half meter uh, base here. Let's offset that column just for fun. And, you know, let's, let's just do something, something like this, okay? So that's good. We have our column grid here uh, in 3D. You can see we have our columns set up. Um, I think they're like 600 by 300. It's not, it's not that important right now. Um, let's draw a 200 slab, just something very basic across here. That looks like a pretty big cantilever. So let's, that'll be interesting to see what deflections that gives us. And let's apply a linear load on the exterior of the slab um, that will act as kind of like our window load or our facade load. Now, okay, that's good. So we've set up our base model very quickly. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of our loadings, um, our load patterns, our load cases, and stuff like that. So uh, load patterns, um, again, for the purpose of this video, uh, we're going to just keep dead self-weight and superimposed dead weight uh, together, combined it with dead. Um, when we get into crack deflections in long term, we're going to have to separate those into two different load cases. But for now, um, because we're doing you know immediate deflections, we don't really need to do that, and we're just going to focus on you know how to start to do this kind of stuff and safe. And we have our live load, so that's good. Let's keep those uh, for now. Let's check out our load cases. So this LPAT one, that's just I think the uh, default load cases in uh, in safe. So we're gonna leave that and load combos. So um, we have no load combos set. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and let's add our load combinations. Um, really, in this for this exercise, all we're gonna add is one dead plus one live. That should be enough for us. Uh, that will allow us to take a look at total dead and live load in immediate deflections uh, uncracked. So let's go ahead and press OK. So as you can see, this is all very simple so far. This is really meant just to introduce you to SAFE um, if you haven't really used it before for this uh, application. So let's apply some floor loads. I'm going to right click on the slab. Um, let's assign a load. Let's assume that this is your typical residential floor in a condominium. We're going to end up with a uniform load, um, a dead weight, pose dead weight of uh, 1.3 kPa, this is pretty standard. Uh, something around there is pretty standard. And let's apply a live load according to the OBC of 1.9. So as we can see, if we, uh, let's just check, check this out. And as we can see, we have our 1.3 dead and our 1.9 live. So that looks good. And let's just apply something to this perimeter load. So we're going to assign some load data. We're going to do a distributed load, let's say of three kilonewton per meter dead load on the facade. Okay. So uh, that's kind of what our model looks like now. And it looks like we're ready to go and run this thing. So, you know, crack deflections are going to take a lot longer to set up and stuff. Um, linear deflections, they don't have much use, but uh, again, like I said, it's a good intro to deflections and this isn't going to take very long to run at all. So let's try and run it. 
Okay, so that was quick. We're here now at this screen. So we're sure we're, we're being shown contours of uh, the different levels of deflection it correlates with this kind of graph on the right. And we, we can change the contours here. But for the most part, I think this will kind of give you a decent idea of what the slab is doing it usually defaults just to dead load when the program first runs. And if we look down here on the bottom left, it's going to give you your maximum and your minimum deflections. So right away, you can kind of look here and you can see, oh, this red area is probably this 3.7 that it's showing me, right? If I hover over it, that's what it is. So um, let's go ahead and we'll click on show deformed shape. Okay. And what we can do now actually is we can look at different deflections. So we can go take a look at our instantaneous live load deflection uncracked. Okay. And we can go ahead and look at our load combo of our total deflection. Okay, and as we guessed, this cantilever was a little bit long and that's where we're experiencing kind of our higher deflections. Here as well, we can play around a little bit with the contour range. Um, so we have, you know, no limits set for the contours. Um, you don't even have to draw the contours, for example, you can just do this. That's not very useful, so let's put it back on. We have a maximum of 4.5 millimeters, but, you know, if we were to crack our slab, we would, this would be more, and the code requires us to crack the slab. So this exercise in itself is mainly kind of like an introductory learning experience to more realistic kind of um, deflection calculations in SAFE. For a starting point, I think this is quite useful. Okay, so that sums up this video. I hope you had a good time watching it. I hope you learned something. And, you know, as always, like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next uh, video in this series where we're going to talk a little bit more about some real-life applications of cracked and long-term deflections and how to model them. Thanks again for watching, and as always, like and subscribe.